Hello, how are you doing? My name is Otto and welcome back to the channel. You've probably heard about the brand Go Dogs. They're quite popular with their lights because they are awesome but also not very expensive. I've been using a few of them for a few years and I've been quite happy with them. What I didn't know is that they actually have a few camera monitors and they sent me their newest one to try out. This is the Godox GM6S and I've been using this for the past weeks. And this is going to be the one that I will keep using from now on. And no, this video is not the sponsor. Inside the box, besides the monitor, you will get three different HDMI cables to connect to different cameras. A code 2 mount that allows the monitor to tilt forward or backward. And we also get this plastic hood that lets you attach this plastic sunshade to the monitor. The monitor is 5.5 inches and it has a weight of 270 grams. Maximum resolution is 4K at 30 frames per second or 1080p at 60 frames per second. There are so many things that I actually like about this monitor. It is very bright. This has 1200 nits and it is great if you want to use it outdoors. And the great thing about it is that it doesn't have a fan. So it is completely silent even if the brightness is set to the maximum. The monitor is not only bright, but the colors are, oh my. What you see on the screen is what you get because of their accurate color reproduction. Colors look beautiful and it has a nice 160 degrees viewing angle. The screen is touch enabled and this will let you access the menus and change the different settings on the go. Compared to other monitors that I've used in the past, the screen is quite responsive and the menu layout and the different options are easy to understand. This monitor does have all the standard features that you would expect. For example, here you can select Focus Assist, which by the way, I usually never trust this when I use it on other monitors because they're not quite accurate, but this one actually is. Down here, you can select the focus, color, and intensity. Over here, you can turn on the zebra lines and select the brightness level. And here, you can turn on different waveforms. Over here, you can turn on or off a center marker, safety markers, and place different grid lines, just like this. Here, on the basic menu, you can select to turn on the audio meter false color, monochrome, pixel to pixel, and here you can zoom in and out. The display menu will let you change the brightness, the contrast, the saturation, and sharpness of the monitor. At the top of the monitor, you will find this wheel to access and control the menu. And here you will also find these five shortcut buttons to quickly access the settings without going inside the menu. The beautiful thing about them is that they are customizable, so you can select whatever setting you want them to change when you press them. On the left side of the monitor, we have two HDMI ports, one for input and one for output signal. There is also a headphone jack if you want to monitor your audio, and there is this remote jack that lets you connect the monitor to your camera and control it on the screen of the monitor. Let me rephrase that. You can control your camera on the monitor if you connect them together. I was not able to test this because I don't have the cable, but for Sony users, I just found this at Amazon that I think is going to work. I am going to buy it soon, try it out, and then report back to all of you. To power this monitor, we have multiple options. At the back of the unit, we have this battery slot where you can use Sony NPF batteries. At the bottom, there is a DC in and a DC out port, and on the right side, there is a USB-C port, which is great if you want to use a regular power brick or a power bank if you are on the go. Having a USB-C port nowadays is a big deal, so good job, Godox. At the bottom of the unit, there is also an SD card slot, which allows you to upload your load tables directly to the monitor. This monitor sells for around $300, and I know that there are cheaper monitors out there, but I'm telling you, the ones I've used have been 
okay at best, but this Godox monitor beats them all with their shortcuts, the menu system, the touch interface, and the color reproduction. This is a good investment if you are a content creator and if you're looking for a quality product. The link to this product is going to be down below. I hope you're having an amazing day and I really hope to see you in the next video. Bye.